these paintings I'm doing here, I'm searching into developing what I think is the most important direction in painting, uh, that being abstraction. Um, I don't want to be um, negative about postmodernism, but it does not interest me at all because it's not visual, you know, it's more verbal. But into the, the visual world of painting is far more interesting to me and I consider it a very significant and important human language. And so this is where I put my effort. In the history of criticism and art, uh, abstract painting is supposed to be not connected to reality. It's supposed to be, quote, non-objective. Um, and uh, born out of the mind of the artist and a self-expression of the artist. In my view of painting and abstraction, uh, all of that is false. Uh, abstraction is about nature and reality. Um, it is uh, the most advanced way to represent reality. Uh, Renaissance way to represent reality was the most advanced research of its time and it gave birth to all kinds of methods that are very valuable. But to keep repeating it now would be very backward. And now we are investigating in pictures uh, what it means to express the general rather than the particular. You know, you have a Renaissance painting, the fantastic Mona Lisa it was great because it was a particular woman with a very scientific way of uh, showing her face, that there's something startling historically. Uh, now we can do photography, so we don't need to go back to that research. But that was a specific person. How about uh, ideas in painting that are similar to mathematics? The general, addition is a general concept. You don't constantly have to use your fingers to add two and two. You have a concept of addition and you can add any number of uh, specific numbers, numerals to each other. And so this idea is coming into painting and abstraction is about that. So when I call this painting behind me clouds and, and trees, I don't mean that it is about a specific view of clouds and trees. I mean that there is a structural relationship between clouds and trees that is also similar to the way water boils or the way uh, tree, uh, tree leaves uh, blow in the wind, etc. There are things that happen or mushrooms grow or, uh, or human being, the human mind, you know, the child learning more. So all these things are in abstraction. It's not pure. It's, it's just as messy as nature and should get messier yet and more complex. And it's not about me and it's not about self-expression. It's about what I'm able to, as an artist, uh, uh, learn from the society around me and the most advanced ideas in it and, and become a conduit for those ideas and put them out in visual form. So it has nothing to do with me, nothing to do with my history or with New York or London or uh, Jerusalem and Palestine. Though I am Palestinian, and the uh, interesting thing that comes up now is that Palestinian and Arab, everybody want to say, here's a niche, you belong to it. You know, how have you used the history of your people in your art? And my reaction is, I can't help it. It is in me. It permeates my being. It permeates my touch, you know, because I grew up writing Arabic. Uh, but my brain is not limited. By, my, uh, by the landscape in which I was born. Uh, and it would be so artificial to limit oneself according to this propaganda, which I think is there to oppress us. I, I travel the world, I have libraries to visit, uh, I meet people, I like them, I talk to them. So the culture of the whole uh, human race is in my painting.